everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I thought it'd be fun to do a little Hobby Lobby haul. So I got a big bag here from Hobby Lobby. I love to shop there. I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, in today's haul, I'm just featuring a lot of canvases because they had a 50% off sale. So always look out for those sales because it can get pretty pricey. If you don't use those coupons, um, they always have a 40% off one item coupon as well that you should use if you're interested. So we'll just go ahead and jump into it. the 16 by 20 oval canvas. Uh, most of these canvases are from the Masters Touch collection or brand. Um, these are really good quality. They're actually pre-primed. Um, so in my experience with that, the paint just goes on a lot smoother um, and kind of has an easier time with the paint um, flowing across the canvas. So this is the oval. It kind of looks like an egg to me, but kind of cool for Easter. Or reminds me of like those old-fashioned mirrors that hang on the wall. So here's the oval. Next we have a 16 by 16 triangle. Again, the Masters Touch brand. So I've done two of these before with this shape. Um, I did like a gray and white kind of marble look. Um, these also remind me of like space out of the line. They're just kind of funky and cool, um, but I got one of these this time. So here's the triangle. I did get two square canvases. They're 14 by 14 inches. So I got two of these. So in a lot of my paintings, I like to do sets or they're called um, diptychs, It's kind of a weird word, but it's the same painting, but it's spread across two canvases and they can be joined together. So I'll put the paint um, like in the middle here and blow it out this way and that way. So they're kind of like twins, they go together. But I really like the symmetry of these squares. Next we have just a circle. Um, this is 12 by 12. I've really loved doing circles lately. Um, a lot of times I'll pour on records. I don't know, just the round shape um, is really cool to me. And then when you're tilting the paint, it's a lot easier sometimes to get it off all the edges evenly um, versus like the corners of squares and rectangles. Sometimes you can overstretch the paint. Sometimes, I don't know, as a beginner, maybe it's easier to start with a circle. It just depends. You can also use this shape to make clocks. Um, I have the parts for one. I just haven't really made it fully yet, but you put your parts in with the numbers and you got this cool little handmade clock that has your favorite paint colors on it. So that's the circle. Next I have this star. So this isn't canvas, this is that MDF wood. That's really popular, so it's like a soft wood. It's really smooth. I really like these because they're easy to paint on. Um, they pretty much act like canvases. Sometimes the paint will seep a little into it, but you can also prime these if you want like a smoother finish. That's kind of some future video ideas I plan on showing you what you can paint on that's not like your standard canvas. Um, you can paint on wood like this, mirrors, um, candle lids. This is a good example of that wood. Um, I don't know if so this is a 10 inch star, by the way. And I love moons and stars and all that stuff. So I had to get that. So these are actually mirrors, but it's a little set of a moon and three stars. So again, this is mirror, but you can totally still paint on it. My bedroom is kind of decorated with moons and stars, so I thought I could do it in my room. It would be really cute for a nursery. There's just tons of ideas, um, but I thought this is really cute. This is really inexpensive. Last, I have another wooden piece. This is, this is a laser cut vine wreath. So these shapes or look is really popular right now for reeds. Another wooden piece that you can paint for these, I'll just kind of prop it up on something and pour the paint, either mix all the colors in one cup and pour all around 
the surface or do one color at a time and just kind of layer the paints on it. Um, and again, you're just gonna tilt it off and you're left with this really cool design. And I love little finds like this. I wanna do videos too with um, antique shops and stuff like that because I like to find quirky little pieces that are inexpensive that you can paint on and kind of make it your own and just have fun and be creative with it because you didn't spend a lot of money on it. So I love this piece. But that is it for the haul. Again, all this was at Hobby Lobby. I like doing haul videos and watching them. Um, I plan on doing some with paint, other art supplies, just little things here and there um, just to show you things that I got because I love to shop. Okay, so that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Bye.